I'm super concerned about weight. My fat ass will lose uh, 75 pounds, which probably wouldn't hurt me one bit. Fish mouth, the end of the tube. I forgot, it's on an angle. What a doob. What a doob. What a doob, -a -doob. That's okay, so let's make it shorter. There's a fine line. Uh, angle gauge, did you know what's up there? Okay. This is not going to work, is it? I guess I get it up here. So that was cool. figure out that angle somehow. That's about it. 
Alright. That left piece looks parallel, okay. Let's go cut some more off. Because something like measure six times and still get it wrong, and then cut it three times to get it right. Something like that, I guess how it goes. much of an angle, but it is an angle. Yeah, that's too short to cut off. I could work with that. Maybe one day I'll have thousands of subscribers on this channel. But right now, I've turned off the fan and the music so that the three of you that are watching can hear me. Okay, there we go. So like I said, we'll put it behind the leaf spring eyelets because I think when the leaf spring eyelets flatten out, they're going to come back. I'm not sure how much, so we'll just have to leave it tacked in until that happens and then... Put it in place. That won't be too far back. All right. I'll measure up there to my reference mark. That looks like the tape is bowing. Come on, cheap tape. That looks like. That looks like it's a. 16th short. Uh, 
I say? 30 seconds short of. Uh, no, actually, that's. That is 54 and a half. Go ahead and measure this side. Turn on my reference line on the cross member. Fifty-four and a half. Ouch. Fifty-four and a half. Get the bow out of the tape. Get the tape straight. The half is actually at the back of the line. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Let's see how square it is. Pretty square. It's not quite square, but I think it's okay. Let's give it the, the visual test. It's just let's give her another measurement. Take them on opposite sides of the line from side to side. Yeah, this side's moved back, so. Okay, the half is just touching the front of the line. square there but my um, back braces or, or um, trusses could be just a little bit wonky. Let's burn it. Put a couple of tacks on it. tacked in. I want to put a support tube right here and then gusset it, but since I don't know exactly where that's going to go yet, I can't make this because this gap changes. It's going to have to be made exactly where it goes. I do want to make another gusset up here somewhere, which is what I started to do yesterday, but was having a hard time um, making equal marks, so that's what we're going to do now. Let's 
So we're going to go up to this seam and come down 11 inches. Y11, oh no, Y11. And we'll go up to this seam. So, what I'll do is I'll put the front edge of the tube at 11, and then the tube itself will be closer to 12. Could make it exact, but I don't really know what difference that can or would make. So, I'm not going to really worry about it too much. Somebody might freak out, but I'm not. I'm not a chassis builder, although back in the 90s, my brother and I did back half a, a Regal, put an alcohol injected 455 Buick in it, raced it for several years, pretty successful. And then, you know, life, marriage, business got in the way. So I've just decided that I'm 52 before I turned 60 or 62 and go, man, I wish I'd have gone and built me another drag car and gone done some drag racing again. I'm just going to do it. Which is one reason it's taken a while. I got kids in college, don't have a whole lot of free money to uh, play with this, so uh, that's why I'm making do a lot with what I have. I uh, bought the SMW uh, 10 point roll bar kit. It should have been inch and 5 eighths, uh, 134 wall, which is good to 850. Uh, but when I ordered it back last, well, probably about a year ago, they said it was going to be like 12 to 16 weeks before they got more inch and three quarter or inch and five eighths material, but they had inch and three quarter. They could do it on that immediately, and I was like, well, you know, it's probably 30 pounds, 40 pounds more, maybe at the most. Didn't really matter to me. Um, of course, you know, it's a year, and I'm now just really getting to getting into putting the cage in. But where I redone some of the bars and have replaced them with inch and five eighths that I've since bought, I'm still keeping inch and three quarter that came off the cage kit and reusing it for certain things. This is inch and five eighths. Um, so it's plenty strong, a little bit lighter. You know, obviously adding weight on top of the two by three frame rails. But again, this car is very lightweight. Um, so I'm not super concerned about weight. I believe it's gonna be under 28, 2700 pounds anyway. If I'm super concerned about weight, my fat ass will lose uh, 75 pounds, which probably wouldn't hurt me in one bit, but that's where we are right now, so I'm going to measure this up, make two identical pieces, and see, see if they go in the identical place, uh, and how good, I, how good is my symmetry from side to side. I think it's pretty good, but we're about to find out. Follow along, shall we? This, I need this, I need to save the battery, and I'll turn you guys off. Alright. <laughs> I didn't... I cut the angle the wrong way. Okay, so I messed up. I'm not afraid to tell you I messed up. So, so excited to be doing this, to be working, and trying to keep up with the camera. I didn't even pay attention to what angle I put on it. So it's basically angled to the sides of the front and the back. So we're gonna do this again. So as you see, there's a hole saw. We're gonna make a fish mount. We're gonna take a little WD-40 as a cutting oil. We're gonna fish mount it. Then I'm gonna mark it. So I know which way to cut the angle when I cut it on the top saw. Oh yeah, look at that. Try 
right at the mark, which is close enough for me. Fits good. So let's go make another. Okay, I think I messed messed this one up somehow. Not sure. Not sure just yet. Let's see. 